Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and today we are working on card number 5 for the Just Because Cards Cricut Cartridge Series. The card we're working on is located on page 28 and it's the gumball card and everything I cut on this is cut at 6 and 3 quarter um, including the card, the envelope, which I used envelope number 5 um, from the back of the manual as my um, envelope for this card. So let's get started. Let me just clear out some of this mess here. I'm using, for my pattern paper today, I'm using the Farmer's Market Collection by Design Cuts with the View, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this collection is still available, so I've had it a while, I've used it once or twice, so I thought I would give it a little use today. So let's get started with assembling our card. Um, I've got all the little gumball drops there. The card, I already went ahead and pre-scored, so I'm just using a craft card stock, and the um, card actually comes with this piece right here. So I just thought it kind of looked a little plain, so I wanted to add an extra piece. So I cut out a piece of black cardstock, which is about a quarter of an inch um, smaller than the card, and then I'm going to layer my um, pattern paper on top of that. So let's go ahead and adhere. I'm going to adhere my pattern paper down to my black piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon to that. My ATG is getting low on adhesive there, so. Alright, so I'm just going to center this onto my black card stock. Let me just turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my ribbon to this. And this is Paper Tray Inks Pure Poppy Ribbon. It's the stitched ribbon. And I am just going to, well, I cut off a lot, wasting a lot of ribbon. I'm just going to tie a knot on this one. There go. I was going to retie it, but I'm not going to. It's all right. So I'm just trimming my tails, and I always trim at an angle. I just like the look that it gives. Okay. And before I adhere my this piece to my card, I want to see exactly how I'm going to put my put my layers down and I think I'm just going to move this up just a little bit and then we'll add our adhesive to the back make sure my ribbon is straight before I lay it down So the next thing I'm going to do is, instead of cutting out the phrase this time, I cut out the stencil, and I did have to reduce the size of this down to, I believe it was one and a half inches, because the six and three quarters was like huge on the card, so I didn't need anything that big on there. So I just cut that at one, and I'm pretty sure it was one and a half, or one and three quarter, um, I don't remember exactly, so. So I'm just using my Zig um, two-way glue. And I'm going to adhere down my goody goody gumdrops. Okay. And that's going to go right on here. But first, I want to assemble my little jar here. And let's see. So the lid comes in a couple different pieces. It comes in actually three different pieces. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the um, the little knob on the top of the the jar. Oops. And then the next piece is this black piece, and that goes on here. I actually could have put the knob on last, but 
I just thought it would be better to put it on first. And then this red piece, actually, oh yeah, look at me, I'm using my quick stick instead of my Zig 2 way. That's because it's almost 10 o'clock at night and I'm making a video. I'm not paying attention. Alrighty. So that's the lid to our candy jar. And then I also have this little piece right here, which is the little like accent on the jar. So we'll just put the Zig 2A on that. And that'll go right on here. And it does cut off a little line. And I just realized I'm halfway off the screen. I hope you guys didn't miss anything. Um, there was a little line, it's like a guide for you to put your your pieces on. And let's see, I think I may have lost one or two of the gumdrops, but that's okay. Because I'm going to adhere just a few of them down. And then I'm going to add dimensionals on the other ones. So, let's see. Oops. And the dimensionals will give it a nice little extra pop. So, scissors. I'm just going to take one dimensional and cut it in half. That should do it. I know I shouldn't be using my good scissors for adhesive, but those Tim Holtz um, tonic scissors cut just about anything. I've used them for all different kind of things. I've never had... It seems like they're always sharp. So I'm just putting dimensionals, a small piece of dimensional on the back of the two that I still have left. There was another one, but I've, it disappeared, but that's okay. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop that down using dimensionals as well on the back of that. And we're just going to put that right down the bottom there. And then we will add some dimensionals also to the back of the stencil, which says goody goody gumdrops, or just goody gumdrops. And I'm just going to put that right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's go ahead and do the envelope real quick. Um, I already went ahead and scored, and I used the same pattern paper that I used on my envelope, or for on my card on the envelope. So we're just going to go ahead and fold all of our score lines. And let's see. Oh, I love this envelope. It's a cute envelope. And I'm just going to add some adhesive right to this. I didn't cut out the sticker for this one. However, the sticker is really cute. I think it comes in a couple different pieces. So there we go. That's our card for this week. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye!